Hi guys, this is Cylon ASMR here, and today I wanted to show you my little tea collection. Um, I haven't been collecting tea for that long, uh, because I only recently got into it, but I hope you can enjoy this video nonetheless. So let me grab the first tea. This lovely tea from the tin, and it's about up to here. The amount that I have left, I didn't buy a full tin to begin with, but let's open it up. this vacuum sealed lid. It smells amazing. This is Tivana's chai blend. It's a mix of Maharaja and Samurai Chai. It's a very spicy tea, and I like this one because I'm not as adept at making loose leaf tea as I am bagged tea. So this helps me a lot uh, in making it because you can use boiling water. You don't have to wait for the water to cool down. And it's so strong that uh, it never comes off tasting weak, so I really like that. So that was the first tea. This is actually an older tin. Um, I made a video about a year ago where I was making um, some uh, pea, let's see, what was this one? A uh, precious white peach. And that was the white tea, and it came off very weak, um, no matter how much I kind of put in it. But this tea is perfect. I love it. I actually bought it with a Starbucks gift card, so I didn't really pay anything for it, and that's the best part. Next, we have this fruit tea sample. Celestial Seasonings. And it contains Raspberry Zinger. Country Peach Passion, Wild Berry Singer, True Blueberry, and Black Cherry Berry. Now, in my opinion, fruit teas do not taste good hot, so I'm saving this for the summertime to make some iced tea. But I'll show you, show you the teas nonetheless. First we have Raspberry Stinger. Um, usually Celestial Seasonings, as far as I know, doesn't usually put um, individual packaging in their boxes. Uh, they say it's because they don't believe in what they call double backing. 
because it's wasteful or something like that. But for these, I'm assuming they had to make an exception uh, because you have to keep the flavors separated. This one is true blueberry. This one is black cherry berry. Maybe this would taste good hot, but I'm usually not that big of a fan of cherry. This collection was actually gifted to me. Here we have wild berry singer. And finally, the last one, which I'm really looking forward to making uh, iced tea with. Country Peach Passion. And this one contains three tea bags. And this one contains three tea bags. Now, I also have um, a tin of loose leaf oolong that my father brought back from Taiwan. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so um, I'm not going to show it here because, you know, I haven't been able to review it, but I will show you one last thing. I also picked this up when I got the chai. Tirana's Belgian Rock Sugar. Comes in this lovely crinkly bag. Let's open it up. So this is what it looks like. It's brown because it's not bleached or dyed. And it comes in these large rock looking things. And this doesn't change the flavor of the tea like honey would because um, it's all natural and it just brings out the tea's natural flavor uh, while sweetening it a little bit. Um, I wouldn't need to use this with the fruit teas because they are already so sweet naturally but um, I would need to use that in the chai um, to kind of counteract the um, spiciness of it uh, because the chai can get quite spicy um, and I just thought I'd pick up these teas um, well the chai at least because um, it's winter. Yesterday it was a low of negative three degrees when I was driving home at about one o'clock in the morning uh, from a friend's house. Um, and here in Salt Lake City it'll get like that. It'll get super, super cold. Um, and winter is my least favorite season. Um, I think a lot of people here like it because we have a lot of winter sports, like skiing and snowboarding. We have a lot of ski resorts up in the mountains, and that's kind of why they picked Salt Lake City as um, the spot for the Winter Olympics. 
a couple of years ago. I believe it was 2002, but I can't exactly remember uh, because I was a very young at that time, and B, I think we were living in uh, Arizona at that time. Um, yeah, so I absolutely hate the cold, uh, so a nice cup of chai is perfect uh, to kind of get out of that cold, chilly mood. Um, so yeah, that's my tea collection so far. Um, I have that also that tin of oolong from uh, Taiwan um, that my father brought home, as well as some bagged oolong. Um, and then in addition to that, I also have um, what else do I have? Um, yeah, just some normal green tea. And like I said, I haven't tried the uh, oolong from Taiwan yet. So that was my little tea show and tell. I hope you were able to enjoy it, and I hope it was relaxing for you. Until next time.